In the previous lesson, we set up a local site. And we actually have a web page in that local site. So again, if you've followed along with the previous lessons, you should already have an index.html file in there. Uh, again, if you did not follow along in the previous lesson, what you can do is go to the Lesson 04 folder and just copy and paste that file into the My Site folder. Uh, but what I want to do now in this lesson is I want to incorporate and basically put an image on this HTML page. And this image is actually in the Assets folder. So if I select Assets, go into that Images folder, notice that there's an Olive's PSD file. This is a Photoshop document. Uh, luckily, I do have Photoshop, so I'll just double click on that file and you can see this image. And again, if you are using another program, that's fine. Uh, if you're using Illustrator or Fireworks, you actually have this same process. Because what I want to do is I'm going to take this PSD file, this Photoshop document, and I want to save out a graphic that can go on a web page. Okay, so I can't put a PSD file on a web page. It has to be in a different format, like a JPEG, a GIF, or a ping file. Okay, and it's quite easy to make a graphic for web pages. With this document open, I can go to File, Save for Web and Devices, and then I have this dialog box. So if you notice off to the side, right up here, I just want to kind of take a look at these presets. Right up here, notice how I have these GIF uh, formats, presets if you will, and then I have JPEG formats and then ping files. Okay, so uh, what GIFs give me the ability to do that's sort of unique to them is I can have a GIF animation, which is just one graphic that has sort of multiple frames that will sort of simulate this animation for me. Okay, and uh, what a ping file actually gives you the power to do is it actually has varying levels of transparency. So if I wanted part of this graphic to maybe, maybe it is transparent, and I want to sort of show the page color through part of this graphic, I'd want to save this out as a ping24 file. But in this case, it's just a, it's just a graphic, and uh, it's, it's really quite straightforward. So I'm just going to select JPEG Medium. So with that selected, Notice that I am in the Optimized tab. This actually shows me uh, what the JPEG will look like. I also want to be aware of the file size down here. This says 6.511K, so this is kilobytes. So it's pretty small, but your goal here is to uh, make sure you have pretty good quality, so I can adjust this quality, maybe bring it up some to 50, and uh, still keep my file size small. So that's the goal. Is It's a fine balance of having a small file size, and I'd say under 10K is definitely small, uh, and it still is quite clear. So again, I've adjusted the quality. My image looks good. It's small enough. I can go ahead and click Save. And what I want to do now is I don't want to save it to the same folder. Again, if you don't have Photoshop, I've actually included an Olive's JPEG file in there. But what I want to do is I actually want to go back out to my My Site folder. Again, this is my local site, so I'm going to double click on that folder. And in here, this is where I want to create an images folder. This is where all my images will live. So I'm going to go ahead and click New Folder. So just click New Folder and type in Images. Again, this is where all my images will live. I'll click Create. And in this folder, I'm going to go ahead and save this file as olives. And again, this is a JPEG. Just like that, I'll save it out, click Save, and it makes that JPEG file. Okay, so now that that JPEG is in place, I'll just go back right out here. You can see my site. Here's my JPEG. I need to put it on this HTML page. So I'm going to go ahead and launch Dreamweaver. And notice this page is open. Again, if it's not open, just go to your Files panel and double-click Index HTML. But on this page is where I want to put that image. Okay, And where I want to put that image is right up here, just before the C in Classic. So I'll just click and put my cursor right there before that C. I'm going to go to Insert Image. I'll locate my image. So just go into My Site, Images, select Olive's JPEG. I get a preview of it. I'll click Choose. 
I get the opportunity to give it some ex accessibility attributes. So this is basically going to be the name that can be searched upon or uh, can be referenced when talking about this graphic. So uh, again, if you have had a screen reader and couldn't actually see the graphic, you could actually reference this name. You'd actually see this name. I'll, I'll show you what this looks like in a second. But I'm going to go ahead and type in olives. Put a long description there, but just click OK. And there's my image. So the image looks good, but obviously this format isn't going to work. We don't want it right there next to that C and push all that content down. Well, to fix that, all I need to do is select that graphic, go down to my Properties panel right down here, and sure enough, for a line, I can select Left. Sure enough, it moves that graphic. The graphic actually stays on the left. But more importantly, the text reflows around that graphic. So I can manipulate sort of the padding around that graphic later. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Uh, but know I have basic controls over this image all by using my Properties panel. Okay, So right in here, I can even you know, adjust the contrast and do some basic manipulation with this image. But overall, I think that's pretty darn good. In fact, all I need to do is just save my page, just like that. And uh, from there, I can then begin to add some more formatting. So that's the basics of inserting an image into a web page. Uh, pretty straightforward. But what I want to do next, in the next lesson, is actually link out some of this text to go to various websites.